little editor cam, but if you take a shot every time I say it was so good, you will be blackout drunk by like halfway through this video. So keep that in mind and enjoy. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, this is my start of week three sort of um, of um, the September Bookopoly um, in, and I've done some videos you can see them there I think and I'll, I'll put links to the page if I can but anyway um, this uh, I rolled uh, my next roll was my most recent purchase this technically wasn't my most recent purchase because I did buy it before but it's the most recent that's in my possession like like physical possession so i'm counting this and i need to read this book because i was like as soon as it comes i'm opening up i'm getting it in my brain because i'm so obsessed um so let's do a little unboxing um even though it's an unbagging uh, i'm trying to i don't want to show you my address because i mean not many people are probably going to watch this anyway but still um i got this um pre-owned from um, eBay on World of Books um, and I've actually got quite a few books from them before like pre-owned ones on eBay um, and they're like they're really good prices so I would totally recommend them if you oh my god it kind of scared me I'm like looking to the room sorry <laughs> you know what let's just do it by hand it's strong <gasps> so excited da 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 oh my god no yes <laughs> <laughs> Swimming in the Dark by Thomas Jedorowski. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And like, oh my god, the quality. Like, I mean, it says it was like pre owned, but it's like, this is so good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, is there anything else in my bag? No. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, this is meant to be about. Um, let me read the blurb because. Yeah. Poland, 1980. Shy, anxious Ludwig has been sent along with the rest of his university class to an agricultural camp. Here he meets Janus, and together they spend a dreamlike summer falling in love. But with summer over, the two are sent back to Warsaw, confronted by the scrutiny, intolerance and corruption of, the, of life under the party. Ludwig and Janus must decide how they will survive, and in their different choices, find themselves torn apart. Yes! Oh my god, this sounds like so emotive and like sad, but like, oh my god, I literally cannot wait. I cannot wait to get this like in my brain. I think, I think it's meant to be set out like it's in letters. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna start reading this lovely, lovely book and I will give an update soon. So, <laughs> see you soon. Just read the epilogue and I am hooked. I am invested. I am in need of more. Give me, please. Thank you very much. I uh, thought I'd give you a little update on Swimming in the Dark. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Oh my god i'm literally obsessed i'm literally obsessed and i'm actually i'm like i'm, well, I'm not annotating it per se but i'm like i'm underlining stuff um and like there's literally a lot like i'm actually quite kind of like <laughs> oh i don't know there's just <sighs> i'm so happy i have this book like literally i know i've been going on about it for literally forever but like i just Oh, it's so good. So yeah, so I read to um page fifty eight, which is the end of chapter two. But I want to say, like backtrack a bit, and I just wanted to read you a little quote because I like it when I read quotes in my reading books. Because it's not a quote per se, but it's like a, it's like a whole like paragraph. Did you ever have someone like that? Someone that you loved in vain when you were younger? Did you ever feel something like my shame? I always assume that you must have that you can't possibly have gone through life as carelessly as you made out. But now I begin to think that not everyone suffers in the same way, that not everyone, in fact, suffers. 
not from the same things at any rate. And in a way, this is what made us possible, you and me. It's, oh my god, this book is literally so good. Oh my god, it's so, like, relatable. It's so, like, there's just, like, oh, I don't know. There's just, oh. it's literally, like, essential queer reading, literally. <laughs> Um, I thought it was letters first of all. I thought, but it's not technically letters. It's basically it's about um the main character Ludwig, who is writing to Janus, um and um it's basically at the moment it's just about like he's talked. He first of all talked about his like first sort of like like understanding that he was attracted to like people of the same sex um like his friend um when he was nine um and then it goes a little bit after about like when he's like sort of like in 18 like in like college and stuff um and then it goes to the camp where they meet um after like um at like the end of their like degree when they're 22 like him and Janus meet um and it's sort of like talking about that first of all and then at the end of this chapter um Janus asks him if he wants to go um with him like to like the Lake District for like a trip or something and I don't know if he does go I'm guessing he does because well they're at the end of the thing and they're gonna have like a, a love story so but yeah, but yeah, it's not like letters, but it is, it's written like it's from him to Janus, but it's like, it's not like, dear Janus, la la la, it's just like written like a normal, like, story, prose, I don't know, I don't know what these words mean, I've only, I've only just got into reading, but, I love this, I love this, I love this. And I'm actually so happy I'm, I'm like, I'm, and it's like underlining stuff because I feel like when I can go back, because I'm 100% I'm reading this book again, because um, there's probably like things I've already missed, but I can just be like, oh, that's a bit I remember, like, oh, let me say a bit, like, it felt like I would never get away, not from myself, not from this. So good. Oh my God. Oh, I love this. It's, it's really, it's, it's, it's honestly so good. I had never seen you before, not consciously anyway, yet my mind felt strangely relieved, as if it had been, as if it had recognised someone. He's talking about when he first, like, saw Janus, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can see someone, but, like, you don't actually see them. Getting philosophical 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 <laughs> anyway um i'm not gonna read anymore now because i need to go to sleep um uh i yeah i didn't really read that much today which kind of annoyed me because i was like i need this book i need to read it but i just i did some stuff um i had a bath that's why my hair is all <laughs> kind of like fluffy um and yeah i'll give you an update tomorrow because <laughs> i'm taking this with me <laughs> when i go out i hope I might not though because anyway, I don't know, I'll tell you tomorrow. Bye bye. Um, I went to this little short story station in Canary Wolf when I was out and I thought I'll just show you what it does. You basically like put your hand over um what sort of length of story you want. And it's all different genres, you can't actually pick which one you want to get. Um but yeah, and it's printed on sort of like this like environmental paper thing and then it sort of like prints out and yeah you have a little story enjoy it so i just finished um swimming in the dark oh my god it was so good it was so good it was, it was it was so good it was so much it was so good um so i haven't done an update in a while um even though it's been like two days i think I think I read it at night, but I literally I've read like <laughs> so many pages in one go because I was just I was just hooked. I was I was so hooked. The writing is so well. It's so good. It's so transportative and like like you're there and it's just incredible. So good. Um and it's just like when it's like there's so many things that are like so relatable and so 
like just they pull on you and especially if there's things that you can relate to and <laughs> make correlations and uh, like connections with in books and stuff then you I mean you just you get more pulled into it and it's just yeah so good it, I would have to say probably in the middle like but in the middle it was getting a little bit like politically like a bit too political for like what I sort of expected it would be and a little bit I didn't like that that much but I was just I was here for the characters I was here for the for the love story <laughs> um I was here for the for the the writing the quotes the like I literally have so much of that I like, underlined because wow but um this is what we're like gonna be my a review sort of thing and i'm gonna go on to do my next role soon um but not anymore tonight because it's like 5 a.m and i've literally stayed up for hours just reading this book because i just wanted to get it finished with not because i wanted to get over with but just because i was just so invested but there's just there's a quote that i'm <sighs> incredible and yet, it occurs to me now that we can never run with our lies indefinitely. Sooner or later, we are forced to confront their darkness. We can choose the when, not the if. And the longer we wait, the more painful and uncertain it will be. Fuck. Oh, so good. So good. And I thought one little quick one that I just, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I, uh, maybe skip a little bit ahead if you don't want to. Like, it's not a spoiler really, it's just like, but it, 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 it's like, it's a, it's like a love story that you kind of know it won't really stay, like it won't progress anyway so if i do ruin something for you i'm really sorry but i have warned you that you can skip ahead if you want to i won't know the time because th whatever but just just go a little bit ahead um but there's a quote that i just i think is exceptional like it's just oh my god <sighs> and the odds had been stacked against us from the start we had no manual no one to show us the way not one example of a happy couple made up of boys. How were we supposed to know what to do? Did we even believe that we deserved to get away with happiness? Oh! Exceptional. So, um, if you don't already know, I'm giving this five stars. <laughs> I just... Oh, and I 100% I'm going to be rereading this book, like probably soon because even though I, I take a lot from it I feel like there probably is some of it like more things I can take from it um and oh my god it was so good it was so good so I'm gonna try and write a little review um but for my good reason story graph and then I'm also gonna corpile this um and I will put the rating here maybe or somewhere on the screen right now um yeah oh my god this book is so good <laughs> read this book please like it's just it's so good it's so good um i just oh my god ludwig L luzio janosch Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. It was, it's literally. Oh. oh. Okay. Bye bye. I'm tired. Um, <clears throat> before I get on <coughs> to my next role, um, I just. Because I wrote like like on my phone like a note <laughs> cool. um of my review but i didn't like actually like talk about this sort of like in the other bit um about like the writing and stuff so i just wanted to just read uh, a little bit that i wrote that 
like is like a really like strong takeaway from uh, the book um there was also so much realness to the story and characters it's a queer person there'll be so many things that speak to the heart of your psyche as ludwig, as ludwig examines many things in his life like internalized homophobia feeling othered from those around as he feels nothing has actually happened yet having thoughts and desires turned straight to shame different timelines of experiences the idea of no manual um or even if we are deserving of freedom a life where we can just be not to get soppy or anything but it speaks to you and these connections are universal and timeless for now anyway um likeness can be drawn and it means so much final little point i wanted to talk about his book um and let's get to my next role now and see what i am reading next i don't know what i kind of fancy i because uh, like this one i knew i wanted to read it like soon um but i don't really know i'm thinking maybe something like a bit out of my comfort zone like maybe like a, like a sort of like a fantasy or something like that or maybe even just like a children's book but i don't know i'll see well, you'll see as well. <laughs> so I've just been looking all over my shelves, all around my house as well for like a book to read. Because I don't know what to read for spring. Like, I don't know. I don't really have like that many spring books, I feel. But I was like, I don't know. I want it. I don't know, but I have settled on reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Um, I like, I know the story, like I've seen the films, um, I do really enjoy it. Um, I think, so. yeah, I mean, yeah, I do. It's actually my sister's book, it says Alice's book, because my sister is called Alice, and it's like cute. Um, I thought it was like a lot longer. This isn't the whole thing, it's on the other side, it's Black Beauty. It's, um, this edition is like 140 pages, but I couldn't find this anywhere on, online, so I'm just going to use another one that's like 132 or something. There goes my bookmark. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just it sort of gives me springish vibes, sort of like the whimsical, the like like the floweriness and you know, that sort of thing, I guess. And it is quite short, so hopefully I'll get through it quite quickly. Um I hope so. Um and yeah, I'll give you an update in the next video because Let's see you soon. Bye-bye.